with the back half of the trailer done, it's time to get up front and work on this disaster. Little disclaimer here. This is how I'm gonna do it, not necessarily how it should be done or how you are doing it. So what works for me may not be the safest option for you. That being said, we've got a plan together. Uh, we're gonna try to go ahead and get this straightened out today and get these wheels chalked up, get the front end jacked up and start cutting on this. See if we can't get it straight and centered compared to where the axle is so this trailer pulls nice and straight. It'd be kind of a bummer if it didn't at this point. So here we go. started as a good idea and a simple plan turned into well this last you guys saw I was trying to bend this get it flat and I did but the issue is it was off center and I couldn't bring it back over enough so I removed material from here to allow more more uh, basically more space for this side to swing back in a little further of course when I did that because this side was bent so much it sucked it in and the tubes no longer matched up so here we are we got it cut off all around that should the reason I cut it off like that is so I have good metal to work with that way none of this is bent anymore none of this is weird then I remembered that I bought metal for the do-it-yourself frame jig build I'll go ahead and put the link up here in the corner but this metal one and three quarter inch tubing just happens to fit inside here so what's gonna happen now is I'm gonna put this in here I'll drill holes in the frame, plug weld this in. That'll give me a good straight piece to line this up. Make sure the alignment, everything's good here again. Um, this will also make sure that everything is nice and level and parallel with the rest of the frame. And then I can go ahead and reinforce it from the outside like I originally planned to. I wish I would've just done this in the first place. It probably would've saved me two hours of messing around, but live and learn, so. All right, here we go. So, working on the trailer yesterday, and a bunch of people come up, talk to me as I'm out here working, which is cool. I don't mind talking to everybody. I'm just trying to get my stuff done, though. So, some days, whatever. Uh, but my old neighbor guy right across the street, I have a lot of respect for the guy. He's a real nice guy. He come up and he suggested that not only in addition to putting this tubing in here, He's like, why don't you get square tubing? Well, I couldn't find square tubing locally that would fit down inside there at the right size. So he goes, why don't you take one of these chunks and he goes, rip it like this. That way I can stack it on top of each other, weld it like that, make my own square tubing. And I thought, nah, that's a lot of work. I don't want to do that. And then the more I thought about it, the more I realized he's probably right. I should probably do that. So. We are working on that right now. Um, I'm getting it fitted up into the tube. I'm gonna make sure it's all nice and square and parallel uh, when I weld it together. That way it can slide in properly. And I'm uh, gonna do that. So anyway, working on that, I'll bring you guys back when I'm getting ready to start welding the tongue back onto the trailer. All right, we got my rectangular tubes made. I've got the holes all drilled and the metal's prepped. Same with on the other side, on the actual tongue itself. And I hope the lens looks okay because I guess I threw some um, hot grinded metal at it because it's uh, implanted into the lens. Uh, so far I can't tell it showing up too bad on the image. Kind of sucks because it's an $800 lens. Anyway, lesson learned by the little cheap glass filters that go on top. Got a couple on the way. Anyway, that bumming me out aside, we're going to go ahead and hook this up, set it up, get it all lined up, and then we're going to burn it in. Wish me luck.
right, guys, we are done. Oh, it's been so much work, but I think it's, well, I know it's gonna be totally worth it. So I appreciate you guys following along with the video. Check it out. You have to play on the inside still, but fully functioning. I'm very grateful. I'm super excited. This is probably nicer than I deserve, but you know what? I got it, and it's gonna be awesome. Again, I appreciate you guys following along with this build. I hope you enjoyed the process. Uh, I've got more plans for the trailer and store as the uh, race season uh, progresses this year. Uh, if you guys like this video, make sure you hit that like button for me. Uh, drop me a comment down below if you have any comments or questions. And as always, hit that subscribe button to help this channel grow. We'll catch you guys in the next video.